on this edition of the news. Recapping week nine of Bring Home the Bounty. Finally, we've got some TVC in that collection we can talk about. Some Black Series and a little clip of some Grail vintage Star Wars finds. Stick around for that. All this and more coming up. <laughs> Just saw D-Day Cobra's video and watched the Disney cringe video again. Happy to see you wearing a Christmas hat. Hey, everyone in chat. Oh, man. Disney's getting destroyed. Woo! Welcome to my television, your home action figure news. Today is Bring Home the Bounty Week 9. Hooray! Last week, one figure. This week, lots. Well, lots. Let's talk about the first two, which are Black Series. Both from the book of Boba Fett. Uh, as we know, there is this collection here, which is hitting stores and landed in Asia and lots of photos have been around the internet. Only one now has been revealed by Hasbro. This one, Fennec Shan. It is an awesome looking figure. I cannot criticize the look of this figure at the moment. Uh, her likeness is amazing. Uh, the detail on her is wonderful. The, the removable helmet, the head sculpt, the hair sculpt as well. Just fantastic. And to complement that Book of Boba Fett number one figure is the deluxe Boba Fett. This is uh, the rearmored version that we saw in the later version of The Mandalorian. Now for the Book of Boba Fett, he is lo looking superb. Lovely forest green. <laughs> the main thing people are pointing out is, does this need to be a deluxe? It is much like that Cobb Vanth. Here's the deluxe, deluxe, same sort of thing. Great looking figure. However, if you remember him in Return of the Jedi lineup, it is a deluxe box, so ooh, it's a bit, bit shiny. There it is. Lovely, lovely. Got it in the undercover protectors. Brilliant. Now we're going to get him rearmored, Book of Boba Fett, different color, and the side of the box. You can see an image. Doesn't reveal the next character. However, thanks to this was on yakface.com's Instagram. Doing my job for me. Thank you very much. It saves me a bit of time. There's the image of the Book of Boba Fett number one and number two all ready to go. I do like a good mural and Book of Boba Fett you've got two over here. I'm green with envy because it's Jedi green as well. There's my custom layer from Wade's Customs in a Aussie sci-fi collectibles case which you can buy for five dollar dues on his website. Link in the description down below. Both of these figures are not exclusive, which is good for fans. You'll be able to find them everywhere. So a recommended retail price will be around about 20 US dollars for the Fennec Shan and around about $30 for the Boba Fett. Tax is not included. Well, <laughs> in different markets, of course, your currency is going to put them at different prices. Looking forward to collecting both of them. I want to start a new mural. Another green one. Yeah. So what else do they reveal? Let's see. Vintage collection stuff. Ooh! Now, the vintage collection stuff they reveal harkens back to the days when they had the old Kmart boxes. They are uh, anything that was a Kmart exclusive look like this. Now, we're going to start with Ahsoka, a deluxe figure for Ahsoka with Grogu and a little owl and a little lamp. And she's wearing a lovely soft goods robe. Her likeness is very, very lovely for the actress. So there's that. Another Grogu is, how many do we need? But in saying that, the packaging shot here, uh, inbox collectors, you will have to take them out of the box to have a look at them. I'm, I'm sure people will keep them in box forever and probably get them graded so you'll never see the figures ever. But these are for world building, these deluxe vintage collection stuff. The next one is the Stormtrooper Navarra Cantina. Of course, the Navarra Cantina is just about to be released. This is a lovely accessory to go with it. The Stormtrooper with the E-Web Cannon. Blast effects as well. How cool is that? That's going to look good in the display. His box art, like Ahsoka Tano's, very, very lovely. The Incinerator Trooper with another Grogu. <laughs> Got some fire effects in this one. It's a cool figure. Well, they, they all are pretty much cool figures. There's no, there's no bad ones amongst these. They're all available for pre-order as of recording this video, I'd say now. And they're all Walmart exclusives. Included in the drop was also another look at the Mando and Grogu Maldo Cress with the spiders. That's a cool looking figure. That's like a, a jumbo oversized 
card back, which no one has a case for yet. <laughs> I do like these reveals, it makes it interesting when they give us a few more. Uh, leading up into the last few see if, if your bingo card looks like this, there you go. You get, what, three more weeks of Bring Home the Bounty to go. I can guarantee you the figures that have not been revealed, the Black Series particularly of all these ones, will be shuffled amongst the weeks running out. If they don't appear, I'll be quite shocked. <laughs> Last but not least, I want to share with you uh, a YouTube channel I follow called Sarge and Red's Vintage Toys. They had a video about, uh, they, well, he owns a store and he goes around hunting at people's houses who say, around, hey, I got a collection you want to buy? And he rocks up there and he takes his camera and he has a look and wow, this guy who had this collection he's buying, unbelievable stuff. Check it out. So you can see we have some modern, I say modern, but it's the 90s era stuff. Not a lot. Most of this is vintage. And we do have some G.I. Joe stuff. So my favorite, of course, is the Gung-Ho Kite, which I might just try to go fly. I don't know. But then we have some of the uh, the vintage Star Wars here. We have Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Look how nice these boxes are. This stuff is in really good shape. These boxes are beautiful. Um, we got the Jab of the Hut Dungeon. We have a Darth Vader speakerphone and an R2-D2 uh, phone. That's more of the modern stuff. But we have um, some jigsaw puzzles. These things are sealed. We have all the mini rigs here. We have the little Ewoks. The little guys, they still have their tags. We have the TIE Interceptor. We have Battle Damage TIE Fighter. We have, this is cool, who remembers V? Remember the TV series? Well, there's none of the action figures here. He comes with the little the face on there. That guy's pretty cool. Then we have an add at here. Again, the boxes are really nice. I mean, these are these are really really nice boxes. So he kept these things in good shape. We have a newer GI Joe thing here. Um, we got Jab of the Hut, the playset. This is all the little figures for these micro uh, playsets. You know, some more modern stuff with the uh, the watch there. But we have a Millennium Falcon in the box. We have size noodles. So this is in the box, but it's been opened. But everything's in there. The microphones and the flutes. And we have the Hoth Ice Cannon playset. Um, all of these are filled with figures. Then we have a Tauntaun in the box here. A Rancor. We have some Micro Machine, micro machine uh, Star Wars playsets. We have the Imperial cru uh, Cruiser here. We have a Speeder Bike. We have the Tatooine Skiff. And I don't believe that's opened at all. That is factory sealed still. We have an Imperial Attack Base. We have some more of the Micro Machine playsets here. Then we have the laser pistol in the box there. We have two scout walkers. We have the rebel armored snow speeder, battle damaged X wing, slave one, a couple more of the uh, modern stuff there, and then that's Jabba's palace. That was supreme. Did you see the skiff, the powerful skiff sealed? That's amazing. There's some quality items right there. That was a fun look at some vintage collection stuff. Last but not least, if you've been living under a rock, yes, the Rancor did not make the goal. Um, I won't speak any more on this because everyone on YouTube has been saying about what people like me, influencers, we put ourselves out there and we get a lot of criticism from all sides. You're supporting it too much. You're hating on it too much. You're laughing at it too much. You're making fun of it. I'm an entertainer. This is YouTube. That's what I do. Uh, I can't defend anyone else's actions about the Rancor. I'll just say mine. I'm at peace with it. It's not backed. We're all on the same page. No one's getting one. That's how it is. Just take a moment to think. There will be more. Don't panic. Like I said in the last video, there's more coming. So, on a lighter note, the Sky Striker is backed. <laughs> it's a Sky Striker! My own! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching today. My name is Usual Mike. You can support the channel by hitting the join button down below and becoming a member. You may want to buy something from the Amazon Affiliates store. Link in the description down below where you'll also find the link for the Redbubble to get some merch. Awesome stuff. You can follow me on social media at usualmike30 on Twitter or usualmiketv on Instagram. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best. <laughs>